Hi, I've done a few videos in which I've shown how the plastic packaging included with some Games Workshop products can be turned into effective battlefield terrain for Warhammer 40,000. But it's not just Warhammer 40,000 this can be done with because some of the products produced for Star Wars Legion, such as those shown here, include along with the cardboard boxes these plastic trays and in this video I'm going to turn some of these into some battlefield terrain for use with Star Wars Legion. The first stage of construction is very easy all I've done is cut off one of the largest sides of the cardboard box and I have quite simply glued this to the top of the plastic tray from inside and now I'm just going to trim around the edge so that it matches neatly. And here we have the structure with the excess cardboard cut away uh, and I've also sanded around the edge so that join between the card roof and the plastic tray is a lot smoother. And now I'm going to add some additional details to this. The actual indentations in the tray do provide some detailing, but I'm going to go a little further. Um, I am going to add some bits of cardboard onto the top of the roof, which will just break up this flat surface. Uh, and also, significantly, I am going to add this, uh, this little alcove doorway that I have made. Um, and this will be set into the side of the building. So for that, I will need to cut a hole into which this can fit neatly. Uh, the depth at the moment has been planned so that it will actually stick out uh, once it engages against this internal section here. And that will then allow me to trim it to just the right size to meet the external part of the tray. Here I have the alcove set into the hole that I've cut into the side of the plastic tray. Uh, and if I just flip this over, you'll be able to see that I've used three folded pieces of cardboard to make a strong join between the alcove and the tray, rather than just relying on glue around the edge right here. But now I am ready to use some cutters and just trim away all of this excess cardboard that's protruding from the structure. And here is the structure with the door alcove trimmed to fit the contours of the plastic tray and four card circles taken from the outer box just glued onto the top just to break up the flat surface of the roof. Uh, and that building is now ready to be painted. Uh, I have a second one here from a, a different box that shows you how the same technique can be used to produce different size buildings. Uh, it's exactly the same with the door alcove set into the plastic tray. And in this case, I've just used four small squares in the corners just to give the roof a tiny bit of detailing. Now, even without going beyond what you actually get in the packaging, there is something else you can do to create an interesting structure. And that is what I'm doing here, because you'll see what I've done is I have cut away uh, the card that was formed the roof from one of the in internal compartments of the plastic tray. Uh, and I'm going to use this to create uh, an indented section into which figures can be placed. Uh, to support this, I've taken a strip of cardboard from uh, the uh, internal card section. There's plenty of packaging used with these models. And then I've got some strips of the same thickness which can then be fixed in at the sides. Like so, obviously these would be glued into place at the end. And then I've got a piece of card which has been cut to fit um, this internal compartment at the height of those supports. I recommend making the supports uh, and then measuring inside of some scrap card or paper to see just how big this needs to be. Because then it is simply placed in. And the bits at the side support, keep it at the right level around the sides. While the main support internally uh, keeps it sturdy. And then as you can see, 
you can just place some figures in like so. Here is the completed structure with its recessed section on the top to allow models to be placed inside it. And you'll notice that in order to provide a, a method of access to this, I have created a very basic ladder here, just from a strip of cardboard glued against the plastic tray, and then some smaller horizontal strips to function as the rungs of the ladder. So I currently have three buildings here and I have also a fourth one which is a sort of vehicle hanger uh, and here I've just made the alcove for the door far bigger so that it would fit a, a vehicle in instead of just infantry and also I have another larger building with a recessed section on the top and this one has a, an access point not only on this side but this side as well and again there's a ladder to allow models to get from the ground up to the recessed section on the roof. Now, all of these buildings use only materials that are actually part of the packaging for the models contained within them. Of course, you can just uh, add whatever little bits and pieces you happen to have lying around to uh, add some more detail. And that is what I've done here. This is a third uh, air speeder box. So it's the same as this building and this building. Only here, I've added uh, a bit of wood with some buttons on the top. Got a couple of soft drink bottle lids. And in the recessed section, I have two spray can lids to form like some sort of chemical tank on the roof. And now I'm ready to paint all of these. And here we have a completed structure. It's been uh, sprayed grey uh, and then had the door and control panel details just picked out and painted by hand. And if I zoom out, you'll be able to see that I've given all of the other structures matching colour schemes as well uh, and presented them as they may appear on the battlefield of a game of Star Wars Legion. Uh, these really are simple buildings to put together. They don't take very long. And as I've shown, you can get away using only the materials that actually come uh, with the packaging for the models that you buy. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this look at some more secret terrain. And thanks for watching. Bye.